guys, uh, Nadine here. Um, I'm in my bedroom uh, in Santa Monica, which, you know, I've lived here for a couple months, as you might know if you read my blog or if you've seen my videos. Um, but I've only just, just recently, finally, finally unpacked the entire bedroom. Um, so now everything is unpacked. Um, everything is almost tidy as well. I mean, I still have a lot of just crap scattered around, um, so it is quite cluttered, but um, it's a lot better than it used to be. So I wanted to show you, because I'm very excited. Um, I went to Ikea a couple of weeks ago with my friend, um, and uh, she helped me pick out a bunch of stuff, and uh, then she helped me organize things. So it still has a lot of work to go, um, but it's a lot better than it was before if you'd seen any of my previous videos. So. I will, uh, I will show you, um, all right, gosh, sorry, I have the, the, uh, tripod. Um, anyhow, here is my little <laughs> beauty product cabinet. I mean, as you can see, it's chock full of products, and I actually had to put a bunch of stuff in bags, give it to friends, give it to Goodwill, and then I have another bunch of products that I plan to give to, um, Dress for Success, which is a women's charity. Anyhow, this is my new little uh, desk. It's nothing fancy, obviously, but at least it's something. Um, sorry, I keep my leg keeps running into this tripod, which is why I keep shaking. Anyhow, here's just, you know, nothing exciting. But um, I even organized my closet, which I was super duper jazzed about um, with all these cute little Ikea boxes. And I have my filing cabinet in there. Um, that's still the kind of work in progress corner. Um, I have my TV down there, and then obviously my sort of lighting rig that I was using earlier to make a video, uh, a more professional video for a real website. Um, so yeah, you, don't, you guys just get like the half weird tripod thing going on. Um, and then over here is still kind of like a work in progress, but in any case, um, I have my bed and my old, you know, keep calm and carry on poster. Um, and then I'll show you my bathroom, except that... The fan is really loud, so if, I'm going to turn this on and then it's going to be all like worry and whatever. Yes, there you go. Um, but you can see I have my little like beauty product cabinet in there. Um, oh, this is very hard. This is very hard to do. Holding a tripod and a camera. Um, and, uh, you know, I've done sort of... I'm going to turn this around. This is really an ill-conceived video. I apologize. Um, <laughs> all right, let's go back. Um, yes, so I have done my best to kind of get all my products organized. Um, actually, I don't know, I have a bunch of boxes over there, which you might have noticed. Um, and those boxes are chock full of makeup. It's all makeup. So, you know, I have many fewer products than I did before, but I still have way, 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 way too many. Um, and uh, I pledge to try to be better about um, being ruthless and only accepting products that I absolutely want to test. Um, and then indeed writing about them and not getting a huge backlog, uh, as I typically do. Um, and then giving away the rest, either to charity or to desperately needy friends and family. Um, so the other exciting thing in my life is that I'm finally learning how to cook. Um, my mom never taught me how to cook. My dad never taught me how to cook. My best friend growing up was an excellent cook, so I always felt intimidated and, you know, always figured it wasn't really worth trying. And then whenever I would make half-hearted attempts to cook, not really knowing how to do it properly, um, everyone would make fun of me and tell me how gross it tasted. So that's not really encouraging when everyone's like, oh, you're a really terrible cook. Um... And then a couple of weeks ago, I was just like, I've had enough of this. This is not freaking a brain surgery. I can learn how to cook. So I've bought a ton of cookbooks. Um, I got the new Gwyneth Paltrow cookbook called My Father's Daughter. A friend of mine recommended Alice Waters' cookbook called The Art of uh, Simple Food. There you go. I'm looking over there in my corner. Um, I have Julia's Kitchen Wisdom from Julia Child. Uh, Just Married and Cooking by my friend Brooke Parkhurst and her husband James, I can never pronounce his last name, Brissioni, I think. Um, and then something called Cookwise, which I was also recommended and said it was just a really good kind of basic cookbook. So, um, I have been making dishes and I'm going to the farmer's market tomorrow and, you know, I'm just kind of doing my best to 
uh, learn and get the ball rolling and doing lots of practice and trial and error and I'm making lots of really bad dishes but um, they're better than they used to be so I'm hoping that with time I will get better and better. So that's it. That's all. Um, I hope you guys are having an awesome weekend. Um, if you just stumbled upon this video and don't know who I am, please visit my blog, which is at nadinejolie.com. Um, hope you guys are great. Love you lots, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!